The Build Show today, coming to you from Scottsdale, Arizona. We are on the roof of a really cool modern build with my friends at AFT Construction. And I'm gonna show you some things that I have not seen before in today's video, including this roof design. We got some cool stuff here from Scottsdale. Today's video with AFT Construction, let's get going. All right guys, so in the last video, we visited my friends at AFT Construction when we showed you an ICF house. On today's video, we're looking at more kind of standard construction. This is wood frame construction, but there's a couple details on this house that I've never seen before. And I want to start up here in this flat roof. This is a roof system that I've, that I've, I've heard about, but I've never actually seen in person. Now, when you look behind me here, you're seeing this membrane uh, roof, and I thought this was a sheet applied uh, membrane when we first started talking about it, but no, what you're seeing here is that on top of the wood framing, they've sprayed down one to two inches or maybe three inches, depending on where you are in the house, of closed cell polyurethane foam. And then they've used that to help slope all the way to the drain. So for instance, let's see on this roof right here, we can see it real well. We've got internal roof drains. So see that main drain right here? This is the primary drain right there. And there's a collar and, and all kinds of stuff that still needs to be put on. And then the taller one, that's the overflow drain. So when the water comes down from the sky and hits this roof, it's gonna run to that main drain. And if that were to get clogged somehow, there's an overflow. And as you look at this house with all these flat roofs, it's really interesting to see how they've sloped with the foam. So the spray foam guy is spraying heavy here and spraying lighter down into here. So we maybe only have an inch or so of foam here. Up here, we've got you know maybe four inches or so. He's creating that slope. You'll notice on this house, we've got several areas like on this roof below here that has an internal gutter system and a really fun fascia detail. I've got a mock-up to show you what that looks like, but I'll show you that in a minute. But you'll see on the front of the house, there's this really interesting, uh, very deep fascia that's kind of pitched back towards the house and so a gutter on this would look kind of weird that's why they've got the internal gutter now remember we are in the desert here they don't get a ton of rain you know this is probably something like sub 10 inches of rain a year here in phoenix scottsdale arizona so we don't have massive rains to deal with but nonetheless uh, we want to make sure we've got a watertight roof now this is interesting we've got a cricket over here We've got a, I don't know what this is doing, some kind of exhaust. Maybe that's the kitchen exhaust right here. And if you look, they've sprayed all the way around the, uh, the unit. And let's see if I can show that a little better. They sprayed all the way around the unit. And now, uh, there we go. Now we can see it a little bit better. Now you can see we've actually got a, uh, uh, a watertight penetration on there. Now on top of the foam, this is not the foam's color. They've, they've added some kind of acrylic or silicone-based uh, spray applied waterproofing, which is also going to protect the foam from UV damage because the foam cannot be exposed to UV very long before it's going to break down. But this coating on top is doing it. Now, it looks like they maybe sprayed this last. In this area, you can see how the color is a little bit different. And the builders are telling me that this light gray color is required by the HOA in this area. Uh, rather than a you know kind of a stark white membrane which would probably be better for energy efficiency now the other thing that you want to notice here is you've got stucco capped walls that's a total no-no in any other climate zones really uh, prone to leakage and water issues if you have a lot of water falling but in the desert this works now you can see they've capped the wall with this peel and stick right here and so that's been capped first and then they added the foam and the lath but again, that's a detail you would not want to do in any climate but the desert. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's go down and I'm going to show you that mock-up and then we'll show you what the inside insulation looks like on this build. Okay, guys, now we're off the roof and this is that fascia and giant overhang and soffit that I wanted to show you before. So that internal gutter is in there. And then these pipes, like we showed you in there, that's your, your pipe that's going into the house, this one on the right here. That's your internal roof drain. And then this one over here, this is your overflow. Now there's not a lot of leaves here. I wouldn't think to, uh, <laughs> to clog an internal drain, but obviously wise to have a main and an overflow. Now here's the mock-up that they're making. 
uh, of that detail. You can see they've got a really pretty brown metal that they're using on that soffit and fascia, so it's gonna get wrapped in metal. But here's how they're gonna waterproof at that cap, because I was curious about that when I was up there. So you've got this metal right here that's capping over the fascia in this location, and it's also capping back into the roof line. So that's how they're gonna waterproof that uh, back there. And then they've got a series of gauge metal that they're bending, and they're making sure that they're shingling it correctly. So this, this overhang here is gonna have several inches of overlap with this metal, and then it's gonna zigzag down. And again, we've got several inches of overlap uh, here, and then it's gonna zigzag down. And again, we've got more overlap before you hit the wall. Now the wall is EFIS stucco, E-I-F-S, Externally Insulated Finishing System. If you're not familiar with it, it's a, a way to, uh, to basically do a synthetic stucco on the outside. So you're gonna do your waterproofing on the outside. They've got their house wrap on. And then on top of that, they've got a rigid foam. This is a one inch rigid foam. that's gonna provide some insulation. And it's also gonna be a backer for, this, for their synthetic stucco. Now they've got traditional lath, but they're gonna be using an acrylic product when they uh, actually put that on. And that acrylic product is, uh, is basically out of a bucket. There's several manufacturers. Stowe makes one that I've used before. Uh, Drive it maybe as well. It's an acrylic based stucco. Um, and I can't remember if it's a one or a two coat system. Sometimes they're just a one coat system that you put right over top of that foam. But uh, with that insulation on there, great system for the desert. So now we've got the look of stucco on the outside, but we actually have some insulation. Now a couple other details on the outside I want to point out before we walk in. Uh, check out these windows, deep recessed windows. They do have some overhang here, but remember we're in the desert and so we can get away with some things that we couldn't necessarily get away with. Uh, I'd be really worried about these deep recessed windows if we were in a more rainy climate than we are here. All right guys, short video from my friends uh, AFT's job site here. If you're not already following these guys on social media, you should. They've got a killer Instagram feed. And what's interesting about AFT is that they're a design build company that's getting a ton of leads directly from their social media. Uh, Brad, the owner of the company, has a ton of like 50,000 some subscribers to his Instagram feed. And he's got his clients, his potential clients, that are tuning into his feed and he does a ton of stories. And they're getting to know him. They're saying, hey, I really like this guy. He's got a family. He's a good builder. He's doing things well. I should build a house with him. And then they're hiring him as a design build firm. So he's getting a bunch of leads that get converted into clients that are building houses like this one that you're seeing. And these are expensive houses. You should absolutely follow them. I'll put a link in the description to uh, AFT Construction uh, on Instagram and to their website. I think they're building throughout the Phoenix, Scottsdale area if you're a prospect. Uh, looking at these guys, good people. Uh, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, guys. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday here on The Build Show. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.